You're watching Fox 10 Arizona Morning. Well, uh, sleep is very important. Oh, it is. Uh, and sometimes we don't get that great of sleep. In general, anyone, you and know. You notice that in the in the hot days of summer, mm -hmm. seem to be more drained. Oh, you're you're ready for bed. Yeah, as, I'm ready for bed as soon yeah. as night falls. Yeah. Um, but if you always seem out of it, you never feel rested. It might be because you have sleep apnea. Sleep apnea. Mm -hmm. Alexis Vance shows us a new test you could take at home that'll tell you if you have the sleeping disorder. Hey, Alexis. Hey, good morning, you guys. We all know how important it is to get a nice, good night's sleep, right? It makes you feel so much better the next day, but there's so many people out there that for whatever reason, sleeping disorders or whatever reason it is, they don't sleep well at night. So we're bringing in our sleep expert, Lori Ledley with Valley Sleep Centers, and you have a new take-home test that you can actually take home. You don't have to go anywhere, and you can see if you have sleep apnea. Correct. We have a new device called the Aries device, and it's actually something that you can have ordered by your home, or excuse me, your physician, your family physician, or you can come in here and meet with one of our board certified sleep physician and if you have a high test probability for obstructive sleep apnea you can take this device home and wear it at home so this is it right here and it's basically free because you're ordering it your health insurance is paying for it and we're gonna show uh, how easy it is to do Correct. Most insurance companies do cover this test. It's right around $200 or less. So depending on your out-of-pocket deductible, things like that, right. it's a lot less expensive. A full night sleep study can run anywhere from $750 to $1,500. So it just wow. depends on, you know, what your insurance coverage is. But if you have 100% coverage, it's 100% covered because it is medically necessary. So what kind of red flags are out there where you should maybe think, hey, I could have sleep apnea? If you're a chronic snorer, or if you have a neck circumference of larger than 18 inches, if your BMI, which is your body mass index, is larger than 30, uh -huh. if you have excessive daytime sleepiness, or if you just have irritability or high blood pressure, those are all reasons that you could have obstructive sleep apnea. So you take this test home and there's actually a little uh, voice that will talk you through the entire process so you're by yourself putting this on. Correct. The, the voice will actually talk, walk you right through it. So you can just put it on at home and you can lay down and it measures your snoring, your oxygen level, your heart rate, um, just a bunch of different parameters and tells us if you stop breathing. You can't hear it now but it's actually walking you through what to do. And then who analyzes the results? So when you bring it back the next day, our board certified sleep physician actually brings up the data and goes over it epic by epic, which is 30 seconds of, inf of information that's collected and kind of reviews it and makes the diagnosis and the recommendations for treatment from there. This is so nice. You don't hear about a lot of take home tests for this kind of a problem. No, it's kind of a new thing. There, there was some things in the old days that were just kind of not as good technology, but the technology obviously is getting better for everything and for this as well. And it's not that bad. I mean, it's just, you know, right up your nose and on your head but it, it's not like it's obstructing your whole face you've I've seen a lot bigger masks than this we've actually have another device that you put on your finger and in your nose and then around your chest this yeah. is the most comfortable device that we yeah. found and the patients really like it and it's so easy because it talks to you and tells you exactly what to do and it's comfortable it is okay thank you so much Lori so if if you think you might have sleep apnea it's worth getting it checked out because your days will be so much better when you're well rested we'll put the information on our website you guys myfoxphoenix.com but Rick, yeah. I can see you going to sleep in something like that every night. I think Ruth might like it. Yeah, if it keeps me from snoring, she'd love it. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> All right, Alexis, Well, you know, sleep you. apnea can be really serious, though, too. You can die from a kitchen. I mean, you stop breathing. Yeah, you yeah. can. Yeah, absolutely.